Hey guys, and welcome back to Crazy Town. This is your mayor, Danielle K. Anderson, and today we're talking about cardamancy. What is cardamancy? Well, basically it is a form of divination that is using a deck of cards. Most of us are familiar with tarot cards and more popular over the last, I think, 10 or 15 years or so is the oracle card. In this version of cardamancy that we're going to introduce, we are going to be talking about a standard poker deck or playing card deck of 52 cards. Now, in a standard deck, you have four suits, diamonds, eight spades, hearts, and clubs. The cards are ace through king, and each have a numerical value of 1 through 13. Now, also in a standard deck, you may find one or two or none, uh, but usually two jokers and those who have a numerical value of zero, which we will talk about in another video. Now, before you do a reading, you're going to want to shuffle the cards. Before you shuffle, it is important that you uh, clear your deck by either knocking or slapping or uh, I like to blow on my cards. First style of shuffling is the overhand shuffle, which you can kind of see here. It's basically you take the cards in one hand, split them up into another. Um, the second is a riffle shuffle where you split the deck in half, basically uh, flip them one over the other in a dovetail kind of situation and then put them back together. And finally, you have uh, one that you see in the casinos a lot, which is called a wash. And the way you do that is you just spread the cards out and mix them all up together. And then you put them back in uh, together. Now, when you're actually performing a reading, it's very important in the system that I use anyway to uh, handle your cards very carefully. And when you're revealing the cards to do it in a certain way. So you can either do it face down where you deal out the cards in a spread and then you turn each card over one by one left to right and you're going to go from the side to side just like this okay so you see that from left to right always left to right another way to do it is deal directly from the deck and you can turn it over face up onto the table but also remembering side to side. What you don't want to do, <clears throat> it's not important that you see the cards, just how they come off the deck here. But um, it's, what's important is that you not flip the card from the bottom to the top or top to bottom over and because uh, that can influence your deck if you use a reverse method. Now, before we go, I'll give you a really quick and easy way to start out reading, getting comfortable with the cards. And that is the quick answer read. And you can do this with one card or three cards. It's basically yes or no. So you take one card and you overturn it. If you get a red card, that's a yes. Very easy. Take one card and turn it over. If you get a black card, like this ace here, that's a no it's very easy yes or no reds red cards are good black cards are bad not bad but you know it's a negative in response to whatever your question is this is also good for um, guiding you throughout your day the other method is using three cards and so you would take three cards out and then you turn them over one at a time and in this case majority rules so we have one red card two red cards and one black card so the majority of cards are red then that means you have a mostly positive answer or a strong yes okay let's try again we have <clears throat> three cards Turning them over, we have one black card, one red card, and another black card. So here again, we have a majority rule. If you have a black card on either side and a red in the middle, mostly black, that means the answer is going to be a no. 
The position of the cards makes more of a difference when you get into the readings. But for now, we're just focusing on the positive and negative answers. And now in this spread, we have three straight black cards. One, two, three. So definite no, strong no, whatever the question is, the answer is absolutely not in this case. One last three. One red, two red, and three reds. So all of them red, and in fact, all of these are diamonds. So not only is this actually a really good reading, like an excellent reading, but because they're all diamonds, this could mean a very positive thing having to do with money. We'll talk about the meanings of that later. But that's it, you guys, for now. Make sure that you stay tuned for more on Cardamancy. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you so much. Listen, if you liked what you saw today, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so that you can be made aware of every video that comes out.